Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden tour. So I am here with my brand new tree slash bush. It's more of a tree. Um, I'm really, really excited about this one. I saw it first at my garden center about a month ago. And it is a new release from Proven Winners this year, 2024. Uh, so while I really liked it, I didn't know a lot about it and I wanted to do a little bit of research first before I bought it. Um, still learning because it's brand new. There's not a lot of information on it yet, but you can see it has these beautiful orchid-like blooms. The tag says that it can get five to eight tall by four to six wide. But if you go to provenwinners.com, it says 10 to 15 tall by 10 wide, which is a much bigger size. Um, and the one review online for this little tree, little being a relative term here, says that from a quart can, her tree grew six feet in one season. So I think if this, if this tree is happy, she will get quite large quite quickly. Um, and there's no guarantees if she'll like this spot, but I specifically have this area here where my uh, drainage soil keeps trying to rush down the hill, go into my little mulch bed. And so I want a fast growing bush or tree that is going to put down roots and hold the soil together so it will stop washing down my hill. I think this will be a beautiful addition to my large hedge here. I have Texas Sage, I have a hibiscus, I have three rows of Sharon, and I have two larger hydrangeas. So this whole side of my garden are things that get larger, six feet wide, four feet wide. Um, this hibiscus right here gets four feet wide, so she'll get about here. Now, I'm not sure that this is not entirely too close to all of this because if she actually does decide to grow up 10 feet tall or 15 feet tall by 10 feet wide, it's going to depend on is she a tree with a trunk or is she a bush? And I don't know, there's not a lot of info. All of the pictures that I've seen show that she does have lower trunks with a more tree-like canopy. So we're gonna go ahead and plant her here hoping that she will hold my soil together. And if at the end of the season, in the fall, she has outgrown her space dramatically in one season, I may have to dig her up and move her three or four feet that way. Um, but I don't want to plant her too far out and then she not be able to hold the soil together right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Planting our new El Nino desert or because I'm very excited. I may have to go get a real shovel, but I brought my long auger. This is one I usually use for bolts, so it's not that uh, big. But I'm hoping that this will save me from having to bend over too much because I kind of have a hip injury. The soil's pretty loose here since it doesn't want to stay, so. One day I'll buy a nice gallon sized auger. Today's not that day. I'll go get a big shovel to remove this dirt.
see what that looks like. Pretty good. Some plant tone in. Yes, I put plant tan tone in my shake and bake container so I don't get it on my hands. So it looks a little heavy on this side right now, but I promise there is a method to my madness. First of all, I wanted this main stem to be my main leader to go upwards. And since most of my garden is this way, 
I wanted this to be the best view. So I positioned it with the best branches going upwards from here. And then the little branches on the other side will fill out. But here is a look at the gorgeous blooms. You can see that she is going to have blooms quite a few places shortly. So hopefully she will be a beautiful tree here. I will of course give updates on how she grows and how she looks and you can see her every month in my monthly garden tour. We will see how she does here versus if I need to move her out. She's supposed to be full sun and the spot gets full sun. So cross your fingers. I'm really excited. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.